I'll do it again. There we go. There we go. I took about five pictures of it. And this is the start of a new video that I'm doing. I accidentally stopped the last one. I'm going to load both of them to YouTube, but this one will be public. The last one will be private. Okay, I'm going to come around you this way so I can kind of get a picture of that van. Okay, I just took a picture of it. If they, if those guys don't behave, I'm going to have to put them in a world of hurt. Where's that? Those red flowers. Here they are. Okay. Look at that lake. Presa Alvaro. Cual? Alvaro, ¿cuál? Obregón. ¿Qué? Obregón. Mm -hmm. Alvaro Obregón. And it's full. Two years ago, it was empty. Year or last year? Two years ago or last year? These are reddish. And there's yellow ones. And then there's big yellow one. I'm gonna get a picture of that too. Your turn off your flash. Okay. I'm going to get a picture of the purple flower. Come on, focus. Focus on the purple flower. There we go. Okay. Okay, hold on. All right. This way. This way you're looking at. All right, let's go. Here is uh, an active leaf cutter ant. People say, oh, they don't bite. <laughs> How stupid can people be? These are active leaf cutter, leaf miner, or what do they call them? Leaf, not leaf miners, leaf uh, cutters. They take leaves of plants underneath, underneath their, uh, in the ground, into the places that they have made, and they secrete saliva on them that causes the, what in the world? They're pretty big ants, uh, and then they have some that are really big. I gotta slam my feet. Okay, let's go walk out on. Let's go walk out on here. Look at the beautiful architecture of this walkway. And the river, the lake was so high that <clears throat> all of this it came up to here and went around it. This is where the, it came around. All this is like a foot of mud right here and gravel that came from uh, up in the parking lot. Someone has ridden a motorcycle down here. You can see the motorcycle track. I just got bit in the hand. Look at this. Oh, oh my gosh. 
This place is unreal how beautiful it is. Here. Here we go. Okay. Last time I came out here, there was, I used to go fishing down at the bottom and there's a kind of a small pond. Oh my God, that's beautiful. It's not near as, as active as it was. But I used to stand right where that tree is. Oh, and there used to be uh, some beehives, wild beehives in these rocks. There probably still are. Man, this place is just amazing. But right down there where those trees are, let's see if I can zoom all the way down. Those trees at the bottom. I used to fish down there. And I would catch these black bluegills bluegills that are black amazing bluegills that are black that's the spillway for the lake and that's a canyon that has um, Now let's see, I'm gonna to try to, there's a cliff over there that looks like it's part of a ranch. It's got some specialty trees growing. If I can get it to focus there. Yeah. And then we can see, if it was darker, if it was darker, you could see all the lights of the fair. The fairgrounds is straight where my finger is, right there. The fairgrounds. May or may not be able to see that red light flashing. I'm using rule of thirds for bottom. Now rule of thirds for top. Last time I came down here, there was a dead rabbit down there. Let's see. Oh, there's an egret. There's an, there's an egret down there looking for a fish to float up. These real stark contrast. There you go, now you can see him. He's, uh, he's looking for a free meal of fish that got battered on the rocks on the way down. And then there's the the aqueduct right there that runs through there and you can kind of see it over there that's part of the aqueduct and it runs all the way down the bees hives there was one here and then one over there last time Um, yeah, somebody came and opened that up stupidly and drained the lake. The whole lake drained out when they use it for irrigation. And it killed thousands upon thousands of fish laying dead in the lake. The whole lake died. So I can't even imagine what the fishing is like. Look at, look at the... Uh, Look at that beautiful. Architecture of this thing. It's just amazing. 
And I see people walking with their kids. Yeah, look, look, the, the egret just took off. But look at the waterfall that's coming this way. Yeah, look at the egret that just took off. And at that point down there, the river runs underneath the aqueduct. The river, the aqueduct crosses over top of the river. It actually splits. There's one part of the aqueduct goes that way and one part continues on. And, well, the egret's coming back. Don't move, don't move. He's flying just below. Problem is, he's white. And I can't see him. He's coming up to the lakeside. He's going to try to get some food up here on the lake. And... I remember when the water used to be 30 feet down to the water. This water is about 100 feet deeper here right now. What? The water is about 100 feet deep right here. I'll, I can't even imagine what the catfish is like here. I used to come out here and hear coyotes. Let's see. You can see the aqueduct better from here. What is, is that where they let it open? That must be. That's where they opened it up. And the water went down. There was a dead rabbit floating in there. There was another dead rabbit sitting on the rocks. But I used to walk, and then I'd, I'd walk across that, and then walk down to there, and then... When it's where it's about seven feet, I would slide down the side. It's at a little bit of a camber, leans just a little bit, and then we'll go down to the um, walk down to the water, walk down to where that tree is right there that's in the water, and catch black bluegills. Black bluegills. I mean, they were black as night. Didn't know what they were until I... After I caught one and took it home. Oh, here comes two more white birds right at us. Right at us. They're going to fly right over top of us. Nope, they saw us and turned. Wow. No, those were the egrets. The other one we saw was a... Um, look at this. They had a lot of water over towards San Felipe. This just came up today. When we went through town this morning, there wasn't any, any water coming down the river. I mean a little bit, but not like this. Oh, looks like we scared them away. I didn't get any video of them. They're probably thinking the same thing I am. It's getting dark. It's time for us to go. I've gone down there before, but then you, unless you're wearing good sneakers, you can't get back up that ramp to grab that, to pull yourself up to get up here again, or crawl through there. A lot of people fish here, and, uh, a TV guy got, uh, TV personality got, got robbed here. I see some more lights from the, yeah. Let's 
see lights from the uh, from the fair in town on the hill above town. Then there's where we're at. The uh, they do this. We fish down there, and we fish up in the lake too. Trying to get this thing. If it was dark, dark, it would be just absolutely beautiful around here. This now, wait a minute, what's going on here? There never used to be houses over there. Now there's houses all the way around this place. I knew there was that lodge there where people come and they go canoeing and fishing and swimming and do stuff. They have parties or whatever. I knew that lodge was there, Guyanero Lodge, but. I didn't know there was any houses over there. Those are new. There's never any houses over there. Now there is. Man, hey, they're building houses. Look, all those are new. Those lights were never there before. I've been out here at night before. I've never seen those lights. I'm going to try to zoom out because this is a big lake now. I mean, when it's full of water. There you go. You can see some of the lights. You can't see them all. You can see some of them. But there's the lodge. A lot of the trees, probably 30 trees out in the water. There's that car that passed us coming in there. I guess that's the caretakers of the guy in Arrow Lodge. I might rent it one night just to have a party out here for everybody. Can't be that much for one night off season. What? With you on there? It's not this because I'm filming this this video is for YouTube well let's make our way back up there I'm gonna pause it until we get up there okay we're just off of the, the guy in Edo. with you to your door. Look at this centenario. Okay. No license plate on the back. It's a uh, like a Ford Aerostar. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Did you hear him? Yo! At us, waving at us. You waved at him? The other one. Yo! Like that. Waves their hands. In the office. Yeah. They're drunk. They're going to get stopped on the way back in if they're not careful. I mean, this is a stupid time of the year to be driving around. Oh. Um. Inside that building, there's a building there that was here the first time I was here in 2011, I think, seven years ago. And it says inside this building, there, I think there were meant to be like just places to get out of. Oh. I ran over a bottle in this truck. Okay, this says GL13, CL13 or CJ13, no, J would be the other way. Um, the one back here, let's see, torch on, it says Peligro. Okay, that says GL13 or CL13. And this one says Endlo with a 
no idea what that is. Five five with a cross. <laughs> And see a lot of human feces inside there too. It's nowhere to be. But these buildings were made originally um, just for beauty, just a place to to rest and relax and get out of the weather. <laughs> And that's the lodge down there. I gotta turn my torch off. Here we go. The people that were here just a minute ago, they're the caretakers of the lodge. I'm gonna ask them about renting it. I don't know, it's probably only about a thousand pesos for a night. Maybe two. That's not much. Okay, we're out of here.